Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic, we are going to talk about animals, right? Now there are all sorts of animals in the world. There are animals that fly, there are animals in the ocean, there are animals in the trees. But today's topic, we are going to talk about animals on land, okay? So not the flying ones and not the swimming ones, but the ones that walk or crawl on the land. So let's think of the animals on land. On the green field, where there's lots of grass and trees, you can see cows or grasshoppers, right? Or mictugis. In the woods or in the forest, you can see deer or snakes. Under the ground, under, there are moles, ants, and worms, earthworms, that move around like this. Compare, compare means we are going to video them or see which one is different and what is the same, okay? Compare cows, snakes, and ants with uh, fish. So we have fish here and we have cows and ants and snakes. So what is different and what is the same? We are comparing them. You can easily notice that they are different, the differences. Land animals, such as deer and these cows, they have legs and use the legs to move. Legs are uh, what we use to walk, right? We have legs over here, but not the snake. Uh, but not all of them have four legs, right? Some of them have two legs, like birds. If they don't have legs, right, snakes, snakes don't have legs, how many legs is this? This is one, two, three, four legs, right? And birds, they have two legs, but snakes, they have zero legs. Uh, and earthworms, right? They crawl on the ground. Crawling is like a baby, like on the ground, right? Unlike fish, underwater, they use lungs to breathe. Our lung is over here and we breathe like this. We breathe like this, but fish, they don't breathe like that. They have gills, right? And we have lungs, they have lungs, snakes have lungs, and birds have lungs. Um, some animals on the ground eat grass, they eat the grass, while others eat the other animals to survive. So that means some animals like deer and cow, they eat, you know, plants. But other animals like cheetahs or lions, they eat other animals, right? They have to catch other animals and eat them, all right? Okay, we have three review questions here. First one, on the green field, we see this beautiful green field where there's lots of plants and trees and grass. You can blank cows or grasshoppers, right? So these are the cows, grasshoppers are little mictugis that we cannot see in the picture. So when we are using our eyes, we can look at them, we can watch them, or a different way we can say that is we can see them. Seeing is when we use our eyes, okay? So on the green field, we can see, yes, cows, uh, in this picture, grass, and we can see trees. All right, B, blank. The cows, snakes, and ants, right? All over here, cows, snakes, and ants with fish, right? We want to see, hmm, which one is different? What is bigger? What is smaller? What is faster? We are trying to see what's different and see what's the same about that, about them. And we can say that is to compare. So when we compare two things, let's say an uh, apple and a uh, banana, hmm, one is yellow, one is red, but they're both fruit, right? We are seeing what is different, right? We are going to pigyo them. Next one, you can easily blank the differences. So when we see the apple and we see the banana, when we see the cow and we see the fish, we can see what is different very easily. We can say, oh, this is a fish, this is a cow. We can see it very, very quickly, right? So another way to see, say that is to notice. To notice something is to see 
or to be aware of something. So when we notice our mom is angry, then she does not say, I am angry. We just kind of see that she's a little bit sad or a little bit angry and we notice that, okay? Or we feel it. Okay, we have three review questions here or grammar questions. First one, some of blank have two legs like birds. Okay, so we have three choices here. First one, them, 그들, they, 그들은, and there is 그들의, right? So we want to use the object. So I'm going to show you right here. The answer is them. So I'm going to try to translate this for you in Korean, okay? 그들 중에서 다리가 두개 있다, right? Or if we say this, 그들이, 그들은 중에서 다리가 두개 있다, 그들의 중에서 다리가 두개 있다. So we want to say 그들 중에서, right? So if, for example, this is out, right? If we only have this sentence, have two legs, then this is the right answer. They have two legs. We want to use the subject, right? But in this sentence, we want to use the object. So some of them have two legs like birds. So for example, uh, we have the word we and us, right? We is the subject and us is the object, right? So we want to use the object. So we cannot say some of we because it's the object, I mean subject. But we want to use some of us. That would make sense, all right? Let's do the B. They blank on the ground. So again, this word crawl is when a baby or a snake is on the ground and they are on the floor moving like this, right? Now we have this subject here, they, 그들은, right? There's many um, snakes, many earthworms, 많은 뱀, and 많은 지렁이s, right? And because we have a plural or many subjects, we have to use a verb that does not have a s. So for example, if we have he, he is one person, right? So we say he crawls because he is one, we have to put the s on the verb. But if it's they, it's they crawl. We crawl or the birds crawl. So when it's just one subject, we use the s for the verb. He eats. They, they eat. All right? C. They use lungs. Blank breathe. So if the lungs again is uh, our pe over here, uh, mammals have this, and um, birds. So we want to use to breathe. So I'll give you another example, okay? We use legs to walk. We use mouths to talk. So when we are using something, we have to use to and with the verb. We use hands to write, we use ears to listen. Okay, so to review, this one, them, is the object of the sentence. Its object means the 동사를 받는 subject, uh, the 동사를 받는 thing, right? It's the noun. So some of them, some of us. Next one, they crawl because they is talking about many people so we cannot put the S over here, okay? If we want to use crawling, uh, we have to say they are crawling on the ground. But there is no R here, right? So it's just they crawl on the ground. They use lungs to breathe. They use legs to walk. They use ears to listen, okay? So next time you go outside into the forest, I want you to compare the animals that you see, the birds and the fish, the fish and the cows, see what's different and see what's the same. Alright, so thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.